welcome in, welcome back to the channel, guys. Brothers Motors, I love coming over here, man. Uh, sometimes, ooh, look at all these lights, guys. It's like a Christmas tree over here. All right, let's turn this heat up. Y'all recognize this center console? It's like a 2010 Dodge Charger, 118,000 miles. Whoa, y'all see ABS, brake, and ESP, and traction control. Everything related to ABS is on, guys, and that is what he's complaining about. Guys, without further ado, let's go find out what this ABS module sees. All right, y'all ready? Let me hook my scan tube up. Let's get it. All right, guys, I have my scan tube pulled up. Yes, 2010 Dodge Charger 3.5, according to the notification on the scan. Now, guys, you see yellow in the ABX and the tipum, okay? No yellow in the PCM. However, there's a lightning bolt. Uh, signifying a flash update but we're not concerned with this what we're concerned with is the ABS so let's go on the ABS let's go on the DTC's and what we will find whoa whoa oh guys you don't get no self-explanatory than that y'all see that C2200 stands for any lock brake module internal Wow, you could simply need a module. In fact, let's go take a look at what the diagnostic asks you to do. I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna go to the diagnostics of C2200 and what I will find is, okay, oh guys, this is pretty self-explanatory. Look, read the, for complete wine diagram. Oh my, possible causes, nothing else that could possibly cause this problem, but an ABS module, okay, it's internal fault, guys. So, ABM internal failure DTC present, turn the ignition on with the scan to read DTC, with the scan to erase DTC, turn the ignition off, turn the ignition back on, with the scan to read DTC. If you see this code again, replace, matter of fact, replace the ABS module in accordance with the service information. I did all of that, guys. Some of this was done off camera, but yes, I turn it, it's uh, active when you turn the key back on and go back and look. All right, guys, so we went over the paperwork side of things. Let's go back over to the car and take a look at some things. Alrighty, guys, good old 3.5 liter V6 timing belt driven engine. ABS module. This is the ABS module, guys. Now, typically I would advise you to remove the connector and check and make sure power supply and ground is there. But that has to be the case or that code would not be set, guys. You would have like a no response. You would have a dead module had you been missing power supply and ground. But since the module is not dead, the module has picked up an internal fault. So hence the code C2200. Okay, so that, I'm not going to say there's no need to check for power supply and ground. But the computer will, it be, you will have a whole different symptom if that was the case. Okay, guys, so but however, uh, I have no choice. I have to try to sell them an ABS module. Now, you can do these separately, guys. The hydraulic unit is separate from the ABS module. Sometimes when you're dealing with OEM, Mopar stuff, you would get it combined, which means it would be expensive. But in this case, all you need is the electrical portion of the ABS, which is the ABS module. That's no further I can go. The code was pretty self-explanatory. It's cut and dry, guys. I need an ABS module. So let me write this up. See if they sell it, and we'll go from there. We ended up ordering a part, and guess what, guys? Ta da That's right. It is here. They're not just one of those where you just plug it in and go, okay? They're not plug and play, per se. You will have to uh, perform a task we call initialize, okay? Okay, so you may you will need a good scan tool, guys, to do that. So we're back to that scan tool conversation again. No, 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 no. Not your AutoZone freebie advanced auto scan tool. You need a good scan tool that can communicate with the module itself. All right now, there are some out there, so I'm not suggesting you have to go to a dealership. No, that's not what I'm suggesting. I'm just suggesting in order to complete this job. So, saying that, I would say this. Don't get started. Don't even start on a job like this un unless you're able to complete it. It's nothing more embarrassing than starting a job. You take on a job from a customer and you can't complete it. All right. That is the ultimate um, embarrassment. All right. 
So make sure you can complete such a job as this. And the only thing that will hinder you, because the physical part of actually replacing this, it's fairly easy, guys. It's held on by four bolts, a little torque. I assume they're T20s. I have to use my long T20s to get in there. They're fairly easy to replace, but you have to be able to complete it. No sense in putting the module on and having the car towed to a spot that has to do the initialization because you will not have anti-lock brakes. Now, you will have base brakes, so I, I guess you can drive to a place to get this done. But, guys, I'm going to grab some tools. Now, the only herder you're going to have on this model, it varies from car to car, but this model, this uh, washer reservoir is blocking my bolts. So I'm going to find a creative way to get to these bolts and i suggest you do the same all right guys i did have to well i didn't have to but i wanted to this is the washer bottle i don't know if y'all can see that but it's blocking the entry to the uh module and i just wanted to it just held on by three bolts guys if you want to get that out the way you can a lot of people just bend the module so they can remove it but this is so easy to do i just soon do this and just move the reservoir out your way because as you can see up top the reservoir is blocking your way all right let's finish up now got the washer bottle out of the way let's blow any trash out of there so that trash will now make its way into the module hold tight all right now let's rotate this module back and forth until it separates from the hydraulic unit come on baby come to papa here we go straight shot guys with that Wash the bottle out of the way. Straight shot out. There we have it. Okay, this is what you do not want to bend. These tabs right here. All four new bolts and rubber bushings or rubber grommets, just in case one, you're missing one. And it was leaking. Okay, yes. Should you put these on? Absolutely. But I'm not going to put them on. They look, they still sticking, poking out real good. Here's my new module. Reinstall the same way you remove. Be careful going in straight with this then uh there you have it guys now let me go back in with my new bolts install everything i've removed including the washer bottle put in new bolts remember guys you're not done you have to go drive this thing you have to initialize it okay i will take you through that procedure step by step when i'm done installing it Technically, if you have a module installed on a car and it hasn't been initialized, these are some of the erroneous codes that were set. I have never seen C1078. Okay, I can understand the C2206 vehicle configuration mismatch. I can understand that. And that is active. That just means I need to... Look at that. C123A ESP system sensor calibration. So, guys, what I'm about to do is go initialize this. Now... I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do that on another video on the process, okay, because I need my phone to do this. I have to actually be driving it, so of course I can't film it, all right, so go figure. But I will get you some footage of that just to show you all the process. I'm sure, I mean, I know most of y'all can't do it, but some of you guys want to see the process. So I'm about to go initialize it. For now, I'm going to erase these codes. I'm about to go initialize the ABS module, all right. I fired a camera up on a test drive. See, all these codes are going to come back once I start the car and run it, but we'll see, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. As you saw in those uh, clips, in those uh, screenshots, because I was on the phone, I needed my phone to actually do the initialization. I could not film and do it, but I was, however, able to capture you guys some screenshots to show you exactly what you will be up against in the event that you have to do one all right uh you can see the part about the hardest part of it all gonna be getting past the screen or the part where it says um you got to go between 3 and 15 miles and make a hard turn come to a standstill and it's gonna check for stroll and if it, everything went through you should pass okay now uh as you can see i'm at lowe's parking lot guys that's the only area i can pull this whole thing off all right at least that's the only safe area <laughs> the main street you will not be able do not get on the main street guys to do initialization i've seen guys do it in the shop